know, you, you know how you set up your drums to emulate a guy that you like? You kind of do that with your hands a little bit, or you kind of look at it and like, well, how does he do that? You know? And I'm, I'm no aficionado on this, this topic, but I mean, I, I had a lesson with Jim Chapin once 10 years ago, but uh, you know, you know, there, there's so many different variables. You, you, know, you have the fingers, you got the hands, the, the, the wrists, and then the arms. But I always keep it loose right in here. So you can kind of do the bouncing and the basketball thing. You know. And then there's a little bit of the, the turning the door open with the knob. And I would just, you know, I'd be on the phone or watching TV. And, you know, just sort of mess around with it. And then same thing over here. Bad time to ask this question. And I tried to get the, 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 the doubles and the singles as even as I could. I mean, they're going to sound different because it's a different articulation, and it will, you know, but if you can try to, to, to get the... There you go. Um, well, I... It's a good lead-in. You know, I was I was very busy, you know, working in Chicago, and um, I had met James Young um, socially a couple of times, but just hey, how you doing type of stuff. But uh, this guy Keith Marks, who ran the big cartridge company in town, he handled my gear for sessions, and he had worked with the band in the past and the various members on their solo projects. Uh, and when uh, the original drummer John Panazzo was in very serious health, uh, they, they called me into, uh, or Keith had recommended me to the guys to essentially ghost drum for John. And, and for me, it was just a session. Like, I got called, hey, Mom, I'm playing with sticks tomorrow, woo! You know, went into the session, hey, nice to meet you guys, see you later, and, and left. And then uh, a, a year later, they, they called me to do uh, another track for Greatest Hits 2 that was coming out. And uh, I had an inkling that something was going on, because Keith Mark said to me, like, hey, what are you doing this summer? I'm like, I don't know, what the hell are you doing this summer? I'm doing what I always do, you know? And he just went, all right. Uh, so I just had an inkling that if I went in there and, and killed the session, actually, uh, th there's a song called Little Susie, which uh, Glenn Burtnick had originally written, and uh, on the demo there's two drum take, two drum passes, kind of this tom thing with a bunch of little marchy rolls in there. And I, I heard it, and I said not to be arrogant or anything. I said I could do that in one pass. And all the eyebrows went up. Uh, and it was kind of like, yeah, all right, go do it. And you know, the, the groove was like a... <laughs> Stuff like that. And then the more I played... And The more I played, the more excited they got, and I thought, yeah, these are the guys for me. Uh, <laughs> but so yeah, it was, it was a, a week after that session that, uh, that I was offered, uh, offered the job, and it's been uh, almost 10 years now. <laughs>